In this video, we will talk about some types of configurations. But first, let us define configurations. A configuration written VR, BK is a finite incidence structure consisting of a set of points and a set of lines such that A. There are V points and B lines B. There are K points on each line and R lines through each point and C. Two different points are connected by at most one line. A configuration in the plane consists of a finite set of points and a finite arrangement of lines such that each point is incident to the same number of lines and each line is incident to the same number of points. So a configuration is an incidence structure of V points and V lines such that there are R lines through each point, R points on each line, and two lines meet in at most one point. So now that we have a brief background about the configurations, let's proceed to the first configuration. The Sargus configuration introduced by Gerard de Sargus, who is a French mathematician and engineer who is considered one of the founders of projective geometry. It is a configuration of 10 points and 10 lines with 3 points per line and 3 lines per point and also closely related to the Sargus theorem which proves the existence of the configuration. The de Sargus configuration has the notation 10 sub 3, 10 sub 3 meaning that each of its 10 points is incident to 3 lines and each of its 10 lines is incident to 3 points. Its 10 points can be viewed in a unique way as a pair of mutually inscribed pentagons or as a self-inscribed decagon. So how will we know if it is a Sargus configuration? If the three straight lines joining the corresponding vertices of two triangles ABC and A'B'C'' prime prime prime, all meet in a point or the perspector, then the three intersections of pairs of corresponding sides lie on a straight line or the perspectrix. Equivalently, if two triangles are perspective from a point, they are perspective from a line. The second configuration is cremona richman configuration that was introduced by Antonio Luigi Cremona on 1877 and Herbert William Richmond on 1900s. A cremona richman configuration is consisting of 15 lines and 15 points, having 3 points on each line and 3 lines through each point and containing no triangles. The cremona richman configuration is self-dual. It is possible to exchange points for lines while preserving all the incidences of the configuration. The last configuration that we will discuss is Schlafly double six that was introduced by Ludwig Schlafly who was a Swiss mathematician specializing in geometry and complex analysis. The Schlafly double six is a configuration of 30 points and 12 lines. The lines of the configuration can be partitioned into two subsets of six lines. Each line is disjoint from school with the lines in its own subset of six lines and intersects all but one of the lines in the other subset of six lines. Each of the 12 lines of the configuration contains five intersection points and each of these 30 intersection points belongs to exactly two lines one from each subset, so in the notation of configurations, the shuffly double six is written 12 sub 5, 30 sub 2. The intersection graph of the 12 lines of the double six configuration is a 12 vertex crown graph, a barpatite graph in which each vertex is adjacent to five out of the six vertices of the opposite color. The Levi graph of the double six may be obtained by replacing each edge of the crown graph by a two-edge path.
The intersection graph of the entire set of 27 lines on a cubic surface is a complement of the Schlafly graph. 